Hello everyone, my name is Iman and today I'm very excited to teach you how to read and write Sorani Kurdish alphabet. Since Sorani Kurdish uses Arabic based script, so this video will be very useful if you plan to study Arabic or Persian or any other alphabet that uses Arabic based script. Sorani Kurdish is very phonetic. It means everything is pronounced exactly how they are written. And unlike Persian and Arabic, there are no hidden vowels, which makes Sorani Kurdish very simple and easy to, to learn. Take a look at the alphabets in Sorani Kurdish, Arabic and Persian, and you will see that most of the letters are almost the same. Take a look at this short sentence in Sorani Kurdish. You will notice two big differences with Latin script. Number one, the text starts from right to left. And number two, all the letters are attached to each other, unlike English. If we split the letters, the letters will look like this. Notice how some letters will change their shape when they are separate. If you want to write it like this, we will still understand it, but it will be a little bit difficult to read, and also it will be like writing an English word with each letter having one or two gaps in between. But don't worry about the letters changing their shape when they are combined together, because first, it's a very easy concept, and second, not all the letters change their shape. Before we start, go and grab a pen and a piece of paper. I highly recommend that you actually write with me and practice along. And you can always pause the video if you need more time to write or you need more practice. Let's begin. We have 34 letters in Sorani Alphabet Kurdish and we divided them into 10 groups and 5 individual letters. Before we continue, we need to talk about initial, medial, final and isolate. If a letter comes at the beginning of a word or comes after a space, it will be in initial form. If a letter comes between two other letters, it will be in medial form. If a letter comes at the end, it will be in a final form. An isolate is when there is nothing attached to the letter or there is a gap before and after the letter. This will all make sense only after we start learning the alphabet, so you can always come back to this section until you completely understand this concept. Group 1 This is the basic shape. It looks like a small wooden boat. This is very easy to write, just like this. If there's one dot under the letter, then this is B, in English word B. You can practice along, B. Now draw, if there are two dots, this is pronounced as T, T, same as English letter T. Two. It's the same shape, the only difference is the dots. So, B and T. And the next one, same shape, three dots. Under the shape, P. P. So, one dot, B, two dots above, T, and three dots, P. This is the same as English letter P. So, B. T and P. And the next letter in this group is N. The shape is a little bit different, it's a little bit deeper, but it's still very similar. N. N. Okay, so group one, if there's one dot under the shape, this is B. Two dots, T. Three dots below, P. And the last one, one deep one and then one dot, N. Now, if they are initial, if they come in the beginning, just write the letter, and then you cut the ending. So, the B, for example, you cut the ending, it becomes B, like this. T, you cut the ending, becomes T. This is the initial form. P, you cut P. And then the good news is the N will also look the same. You cut the ending. Now, now you know why N or N is also in this group. Now, medial. When the letter comes in between two other letters, this is when the letter comes in the beginning. But when it comes between two other letters, it's very easy. Just add one more connecting line. You can pause the video and practice as many times as you can. And final, when the letter comes at the end, 
The shape is exactly the same. Nothing changes, but there is one connector line attached to the beginning of the word. Like the same, sh a connector line and the same shape. A connector line and the same shape. Connector line and the same shape. So this is the final form. And then the isolate, we already studied it with, when there's nothing attached to it. Now let's practice. The letter B or B this is how you write it. If you want to write two B, this is the first B. We cut it because it's the initial, and then we add another B. Just like this. If you run if you want to write two T, T, the second T. Why? Because the first T is the initial form. And then this, the last T is the final form. It's very difficult to write any real words without adding a vowel. So the next letter that we will study is a vowel, A. Ah, it's just one line, just like this. This letter is a little bit different because if you want to put it in the beginning of a word, you have to add this part. So you cannot write a ah like this in the beginning of a word. You have to add this part. So this part plus a. Ah. This is a rule. Like this. Or you can write this one first and then a. Ah. Add it. So if you want to write a ah in the beginning of a word, you have to put this part. Ah, if I want to add letter B, and here, the one that we studied, this is how we write the letter B. If I want to add it here, I cannot write it like this. I cannot attach it to here, because this letter does not attach to any other letter. So, I have to write it like this. The letter B becomes an isolate, because there is nothing before and after it. There are two gaps. Let's do some more practice. B, A, B, A. If I want to write B, A, B, A, Ba, Ba, I'll just B because it's the initial and then A, then the next one, B, and then A, Ba, Ba. Now, it's time to test your skills. Can you write Nan, ne, a, ne. Ne, a, ne. Pause the video if you need more time. Next one. Pa, pa. P, a, p, a. Pa, pa. Okay, let's see how to write those two words. The first one was nan. Ne, a, ne. So, ne, the initial. Then a, ne. Nan. The other one was P A P A A A Nan Papa. Congratulations if your answers were correct. If not, then just go back and practice a little bit more. And don't worry, we will get a lot of exercise throughout this video. So let's see how many words we know so far. B Two dots, T, three dots, P, and N. And also, A. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. Five letters so far. Now it's time to study the group two. Okay, group two. We have four letters in group two as well. Look closely. This is the basic shape. All the letters are the similar except the dots. So, Try to practice along with me. Without any dots, this is h. H. This is not h. This is h. But if you can't pronounce h, uh, you can just say h. It's fine. If there is one dot above the letter 
it becomes h, h. One dot h. One dot inside j, j, j. And then next one. Three dots inside ch, ch, like cheese. Ch, ch. So to recap, without any dots, h, h. One dot inside j, one dot outside h, three dots inside ch. Let's look at the initial, medial, and final. This is J. If this letter comes in the initial form, then it will look like this. We just cut this piece, but then we need to connect it to another letter. So we just add this. Very simple. Again, J. We cut this part, and then we add something to it, and it will look like this. H. Then then H. These are the initial forms. In the medial, they will look exactly the same. So, this is J. In the initial, just add the connecting line. So, if I write it together, just like this. H. I just add the connecting line. Ch. Nothing changed. This is the initial, this is the medial. And the final is also the same. This is the isolate form, and then we just add the connecting line. Connecting line, the letter. Connecting line, the letter. Okay, time to study group three. Group three, this is the basic shape. Well, for most of them. This is R. R. You go up like this, down. R. And then you add one dot, it becomes Z. Just like English letter Z. 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 Try to practice with me. Z. And now the same shape, three dots. Z. J. No dot. R. R. One dot. Z. Three dots. J. And then the same shape. No dots, but then there's this thing. R. R. The basic shape. A normal R. And then just add this thing. R. R. And then the last one in the group is D. Well, it's a little bit different. The D. D. Sometimes some people confuse R and D. This one is the same as English letter uh, D. The difference is, is the arc. Like the R is a lot smoother. But the D, there's this sharp angle. D. Let's look at them again. No dot, R, one dot, Z, three dots, J, this thing, R, and then the last one, D. What all these letters have in common is nothing can be attached after them. For example, R, and then B or anything, it will look like this. Just like the A. When I wrote nan, nan, I could not attach these two words together. These five letters work the same way. The only difference is these can come in the beginning of a word without having to add anything. I don't have to add these to them. So they can come in the end. For example, for example, if I want to write 
dann de a ne. This is the initial form, and then nothing comes after them. Then a, and then nothing comes after the a as well. Ne, dan, dan. So let's look at the z or any of the letters again from the, that group. J. You can add something in the beginning, for example, b or t. Or n, but you cannot add anything. They will not be attached to any other words afterwards as comes afterward. So if I want to add anything else, uh, for example, if I want to add the uh, letter B here, it will look like this because it will not be attached here. And this one is there's another letter that we will study later. So other letters can be attached to the beginning but not at the end. Now it's your turn. Can you write Jean, Je, A, Ne? Jean, Jean. Another one? Dar, D, A, R, Dar, Dar. Okay, let's try. Je, A, Ne. The same. Jean. None of the letters changed. Well, because uh, the J will not be attached to the word afterwards. So there's a gap here. The next one was D A R. Again, all the letters will look the same. The shape is a little bit similar to the, the previous group. This part is very similar to the previous letters, but then you have to add this one as well. So you start like this. This one is oo, oo, oo. And then if you write two oo together, it just becomes a long oo, oo. This one is oo, this one is oo. And then the same shape, you just have to add this one, it becomes o. Oh, oh. If you remember, we used this this symbol before for the r. Become r. It was a r, r. Again, u becomes o, o. Just like the English letter o. Again, these three letters work the same. Previous group. You can attach other letters here. But you cannot attach other letters afterward. For example, within. W, T, N. Within. You cannot attach these two because you cannot attach uh, letters after the W. Within. O, which. W, R, Which, which? Now it's your turn. Can you write wata, u, a, t, a, wata, wata? Next word, pur, p, u, u, a double u, r, pur, pur. Okay, let's see the first one. U, nothing can be attached afterward. A are the same. T A Wata Wata. The next one, Pur P U. And then the last one, R. I think can be attached before and afterward. Pur Wata Pur. Okay, next group. This one, S, same as English letter S, and then three dots above SH. S, SH. Again, one, two, three. S, 
是。If I want to add something after this one, remember we cut here. So this becomes the initial. Same for the 是。是。Okay, if I want to this letter to be the medial, the 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 connecting line, and then this one. Again, connecting line. Shu, and in the end, the same. This is the si, and I add the connecting line. This is when it's for the final. Same thing. Shu. Let's write an example. Shadan. Shadan is a name. Shu. A. D. A. Ne. Remember. A, you can't attach anything after a, and then the same thing for d, so shadan, shadan. Okay, next group. F, f. This is like w. Remember w, but instead of going down, we come back. F, so. F, just like English letter F, F. Then the same thing. If we have three letters, V, like English letter V, V, F, V. And then another one, the same shape, a little bit deeper, just like the. Remember the, the B, and the N. The shapes were a little bit different. This one was a little bit deeper. The same thing. Two dots, k, k. It's not k. It's a little, it's a little bit deeper. K and k are different. This is k. So these letters, uh, the letters can be attached to them before and afterward. So initial. We cut this one. It's very easy. F. Then, v. Then k. And if they come in the middle, just add this thing. And then in the end, the same, same letter. Just add this one. Yeah, they're very easy. Again, f, three letters v, and then a little bit deep, two le two dots, k. Sorry, three dots v, and then two dots k. F, v, k. Let's write some、uh, words with this one. If I write. Kach, k a ch, k, two dots, then a, then if you remember ch, three dots, kach, again, k a ch, kach. Another word, fu, fu, f, u, fu. So if I write u, how do I connect? Can I connect these? Can I connect these two? Yes, of course, because I can add. I, I can connect words to the u, but I cannot connect、uh, words afterward. So fu, fu. K. This one. K. K. This is the same as English letter K. K. And then the same shape, but two lines becomes G, like the word game. G. G. If I write ga, means cow. I will delete this part and add a ga. These two letters,、uh, I can add letters before and after them. So、uh, there is nothing special. K. So if it comes in the beginning, will be like this. K. Ka. If they are in the middle. Like this, 
if they are in the end they're just like this so like this k or g with the connecting dot if they are defined so k and g can you write gurg g u r g gurg gurg another one kak k a k kak kak let's let's write the first word gurg g u r then i cannot add attach other letters to r then gurg the next letter kak k a k kak are you still with me only three groups left we're almost done these two letters are not as common as the other letters most of the words that use this letter are the loan words from arabic so they are a and g a and g a and g well if they are in the initial we just use the beginning of the letter and add something a same thing g the only difference is when they are in the medial or in the end for example we cannot just add this one when they are in the medial they will look like this okay the a just like a reverse triangle then g a and g I, tr I write them like this but this is the correct way of writing it either way they're fine so a and g in the medium and in the end the same thing like this do not confuse it with the this one they are a little bit different This one, this is G, but the, the old one, this is G, they are different. Next group, or actually it's a mini group, because it's only one letter and only one tiny difference. L, 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 and then L, L, L. This is the same, you can attach words to the beginning and the end. So if they are in the beginning, they will look like this. If they are in the middle, they will look like this. And if they are in the end, they will look like this. The same thing if I want a l, l, l. So l and l. And the last group, finally, the last group is e. Y and ye 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 and ye no dots ye and ye oh wait the only difference is this is a little bit uh, uh, special in the initial it will look like a uh, group one but two dots e e this is the initial ye the same thing like this e ye initial the same thing uh, the medial same ye and then the final they will look like the same but with the connecting line that's all so can you write tir tir t i r tir Okay, let me write them separately. T, E, R. Can I connect these two? Yes. T, and then the E will change shape when it's the when it's the medial. T, and then R. T, T. Now we have finished studying the groups. Only a few letters are left. Let's go. 
This one the same as English letter M. M. You write it like this. M. M. Don't write it like this because it's not M. There's like this. M. M. You can attach other letters to the beginning and the end. Uh, can you guess what this letter will look if it's the initial one? When this letter comes in the initial, it will look like this. A circle and then the line is in the middle. M. If it's in the middle, the same. If it's in the end, with the connecting dot. Or like this. Both are fine. Me. For example, if I write lim, le, and me, so the le, lim, lim. This is me, lim. The next letter is h, h. This letter doesn't come at the final, so it's always the medial or the initial. H, one, two, h. You can practice with me, h. So if I write ha, h, a, ha, 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 ha. And then in the medial, like this, this, very similar, just add the connecting line, h, h. Congratulations if you've come this far. Now let's study the final one, a, a. This letter is very similar to a. In two ways. One, if it comes in the beginning of uh, a word, then you have to add this thing, just like the a, and both of them do not attach to the next letter. So, a, if it's the initial, it will look like this, a, same as a. If I write bird, bird. B, A, R, D, it will look like B, and then this one, B, R, D. Notice if it's the, if it's a medial, you will write it like this, but you cannot attach the next letter to, to A. So it will look like this in a medial, and then the initial, it will look like this. Bird. Bird. What if it's the isolate? For example, if I write dust, hand, dust. D, A, S, T. Dust. Well, you can't attach any other letter to D, and I mean afterward, and then you can't attach the A to other letters. In the end, so the a uh will look like the, an isolate. Dust. Dust. There are only four letters that when they come in the initial, you have to add this letter to them. So those four letters are o, a, a, and ye. These four letters, if they come in the initial, if they come alone in the beginning of the word, then you just have to add these, just have to add this one. So, if O becomes comes in the beginning of a word, the O will look like this, the same thing, the A, and then A, and then A. We finished studying all the 34 letters of the Sorani Kurdish alphabet. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our Glossika channel. See you in the next video.